this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure your PTZ Optics camera to use with Wirecast for the first time. One of the things I love about these cameras is, depending on the model, there are so many different ways to bring their video signal into Wirecast. Looking at the back of this particular camera, we can see that it has an Ethernet port, which can not only be used to get the video signal over your network, but also to send the camera PTZ commands, as well as even power it if you have an Ethernet hub or switch that provides power over Ethernet. Next, we have an HDMI port, which can be used for video signals and directly into a capture card, into your computer or into Wirecast. An SDI spigot, which can also do that through a capture card. And then finally, a USB port. Now, this is a USB 2 port, so it will not support video out of the camera, but some of their models actually have a blue USB 3 port, which will. These cameras do not have a built-in microphone, but they do have a mic line input, which you can use to plug in a microphone if you also want to get audio with your video signal. The first time you set up your PTZ Optics camera, it's useful to connect it to a monitor or a display using the HDMI or SDI connections. This allows you to see the menus and configuration commands you'll need in order to set the IP address and connect the camera over your network or control it if that's what you're going to do. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to just plug in the power cord, the Ethernet, and the SDI cord. Now that I have the camera powered on and connected, I'm going to add it into Wirecast so I can see the on-screen menus and displays. And there it is. Now we're going to use the remote to enter a command to, give, to tell the camera to give us its current IP address. A quick note about these shortcut commands on the remote control. Not all PTZ Optics cameras have the most recent firmware that supports these shortcut commands. Older models may not take these commands through the remote. If that's the case and you find that you cannot reset your IP address using the remote, then you have two options. One is if you're on Windows, you can go to the PTZ Optics website at ptzoptics.com slash downloads and download the IP address settings tool. This will allow you to do the same thing. The problem is that this software is currently only available for Windows users. If you're on a Mac, you cannot download this tool. PTZ Optics says that they are working on a Mac version, but we don't know when that will be available yet. If you're a Mac user who's run into this problem, your next best option is to contact the support team at PTZ Optics and they can get you sorted out and figure out how to either update your firmware or get you a camera model that will support these commands. You're gonna enter the command pound star four. That will turn on automatic DHCP, which will mean that your router will automatically assign the camera a new IP address rather than the static one that it shipped with. This will allow you to find it on your network or in Wirecast if you need to connect to it over the network. The next thing we need to know is what is that new IP address? So for that, you're just going to enter a new command, which is very similar to the first one. We're going to enter star pound four, and that will display the new IP address on the screen. Take a quick moment to write that down. Okay, now that you have the new IP address of the camera, you can connect to it and actually assign that to be the new IP address for the camera permanently. So no matter where you plug it in on your network, as long as it's not on a different subnet, you can always find the camera, which is very useful for repeatedly connecting to it anytime you need to in Wirecast. In order to set that new IP address as the permanent IP address for the camera, just launch your browser and enter the IP address into your URL bar. The default login for all PTZ Optics cameras is admin, admin. Navigate to the network section of the menu on the left. Then find the dynamic IP address and switch it to fixed. Click apply. The control panel will prompt you to reboot the camera. We're just gonna switch off the camera and then switch it back on. 
Now the new IP address should be fixed in the camera's memory, so you can always find the camera on your network if you enter that IP address. Okay, that's pretty much it for setting up your PTZ Optics camera to use with Wirecast. Once the camera has an IP address that you know and can repeatedly reconnect to, there's so much more you can do with these cameras in Wirecast. For example, you can bring in the video signal from the camera over your network via RTSP into Wirecast Pro's WebStream plugin. You can also bring in the camera signal over NDI if it's an NDI model of the PTZ Optics camera line. You can also send the camera PTZ commands and set up shots and presets and different camera angles using Wirecast Pro's built-in PTZ controller window. All of this we'll cover in other tutorials, but this should get you started and get the camera working with Wirecast either to be used over your network or of course always used through the baseband, HDMI, or SDI connections. Thanks for watching and there are many more video tutorials like this one available on our website at telestream.net slash wirecast slash resources. Thanks for watching.